Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton, and last time we met, we talked about volume, and today I think we should extend our thinking about volume. So I have a rectangular prism for you today. Looks like this. And last time we talked, um, we talked about the number of faces, and we talked about vertices and lines, um, but I want to just remind you of a couple of quick vocab words. So um, each side is called a face. And remember um, that each of these has a little point at the corner where the sides meet, called vertices. And um, also, these are made up of layers. You can kind of see them twirling those layers around. So there are layers. And today we're really going to focus on the color of the layers um, because people see things differently. So there's different ways to see and find volume. Um, so, let's think about those things. Oh, and one, one last thing. Um, of course, you probably know that each of these is made up of one smaller cube. So, when we talk about volume, we say like 24 cubic units because they're made of little um, cubes. So, you can see why um, they're called cubic units. All right. So, today, looking at this, you can see I have... Um, different layers. So my green layer, I'm going to, I think I'm just going to take it off. All right, here's my green layer. You can see that it's made of a one, two, three by two. Basically, if you were just talking about the bottom of it, that's the area, right? That's the face. So it's a three by two. You might be, notice that I'm not saying three times two. When we're talking about volume, we always just switch that multiplication sign to the word by. So it's a three by two. All right, so we know that each layer is made up of a three by two in this rectangular prism. So I'm going to put, this is going to be my first one right here, cubes in each layer. I'm going to put three by two because we know three times two is six. All right, now check out the colors. Um, we have to find out how many um, layers of six we have. So this is one layer of six, so one layer, two, three, and four layers. So I'm going to put four here, and that's going to tell us how many smaller cubes are in here. So three times two is six, and six four times is 24. And now I need to write units. And I'm going to put a little three. That three stands for three dimensions, length, width, and height. So that means cubic units or units cubed. All right. So I'm going to set this here. I hope you can still see it. Um, and I'm going to pull out another cube that also has 24 units cubed. However, I made the layers a little bit different. So check this out. All right. So in this one, it's a little bit different because... The colors are going up and down now, right? So we're going to check out this one. So we have a green layer, a yellow layer, and an orange layer. So in each layer, we've got a 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4. So you know each layer is a 2 by 4. And you know 2 times 4 is 8, right? So we're going to write 2 by 4 here which you know that stands for the eight green pieces here. And then we're going to tell how many layers it has. So one, two, three layers. And of course, you know, two times four is eight. And eight, three times is 24 units cubed. Okay, I have one other way that we could look at the same figure today. Um, I'm going to set this here so you can still see it. Okay, so I have one more way, and it is like this. Okay, so you can see, I, again, I have layers. I can even pull them apart, right? So I have my layers, and but it's a little bit different this time. So this time, if we look at it, we have a 3 by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So a 3 by 4. So I'm going to put that here. And then we have to tell how many layers it has. 
So we know that there are a, a three times four we know is 12, right? And then um, we look and see and we have two layers. So that should check out because we know that um, 12 times two is still 24 units cubed. All right, so kids, you can um, imagine that you have a cube or a 3D um, rectangular figure, or excuse me, I meant 3D rectangular prism. All right, um, and I'm gonna give you one to find the volume. So try this one out on your own. So try five, if you have a five by three by four figure, what would the volume be? So how many cubes would there be? All right, you can post in the comments when you find out the answer to how many um, smaller cubes there would be in a five by three by four rectangular prism. All right, see you next time. Bye.